the two. Am I gonna fall asleep? I woke up. It's <laughs> so yeah, what's what time is in um, Chicago? Mm, it's uh, ten oh nine, but I woke up because I, every time they bomb Ukraine, I feel it, and I cannot sleep. On this time, they were bombing, you know, my friends' a city close to Kiev. So obviously, I kind of like automatically looked, and I'm like, sure enough. But uh, yeah, in oh, I actually did want to mention this. I found this guy. He, uh, well, he only does videos in Russian, but he is from Ukraine. Uh, it looks like he lives in Miami now, but he's been like some sort of high um, title of in the army or something like this. And he said this one thing. I'm I'm just saying what he said. You know. Um, he said that this war is an agreement between Putin and Biden. Behind Biden doesn't do anything, doesn't make any decisions um, because uh, it all started from Obama administration and Obama administration is still in charge. Biden is like a marionette like a doll. Through him, they basically conduct the decisions. Um, and he said that the, the Zelensky is uh, he's not a corrupt guy who agreed to this, but he's kind of sandwiched in between. You understand, he got caught. It's like you're caught in crossfire, crossfire in between Russia and the US. Because uh, look how interesting he described. He said, why do you think it was the world didn't react when part of Georgia went to Russia? became part of Russia against the people's will and they've been doing the same like things you know there and then he says why do you think part of Moldova went to Russia and nobody reacted in the world and why do you think Crimea went to Russia and just they did like a few sanctions here and there and that was it didn't really affect the economy at all mm -hmm. you know it kind of like it affected me I kept thinking about it because I'm I was thinking like uh I finally found a person. I have no idea he is awakened or not. Who cares? He's logical. He knows because he's been in intelligence services. He's been in the army. He knows how it works, how there's always an agreement about everything he said. And, um, and it, he confirmed my thoughts about Zelensky because every time I look at him energetically, He's like, like you said, was a pendulum right before the session. Like he's mostly good because he wants to protect his people, protect this, the, the country. But he's stuck with the situation when there's so much pressure everywhere. And this guy also said like he follows, he has a lot of um, friends in the government. And he says, did you notice how they slow down the uh, supplies of ammunition? They announced them, like they announced the F-16 or whatever airplanes, right, jets to Ukraine because we needed to close the sky. But then they said, no, we're not giving those to you. You know, they always announce like as if, but they're just feeding you with promises, but not really giving you stuff. And that always happens after Ukraine makes some great... Um, strides in like uh, getting back uh, the cities like Kherson and big victories. After big victories, for some reason, the ammunition supply slow down. Mm -hmm. The guy said, and it, it fits in perfectly into the picture. And he still believes that Ukraine will win and all this, but they just confirmed what I said in yesterday's session with you, that they're just prolonging the time and they're gonna make it slow motion kind of winning um, because obviously there's too many people in the world right now, so we need to eliminate. It's like, uh, I would say it's like it's a chess game where uh, you have a lot, lot of moves that uh, everybody wants a piece of something and they want to win the, uh, the battle here. It's all about power, about money, the economy, um there is quite a lot in the plate so yeah i mean ukraine is the chess uh and the rest uh, is just uh, you know the the horses the queens the queens we know who they are uh and yeah that is uh, unfortunately 
uh, that the politician works, uh, the people, the dictators, the people, they want to eat everything because they want that golden chair. To lose in this chair, to be respected and fear for, it's like, a, I think the most powerful uh, a feeling that people like Putin, all these uh, dictators, people that are basically leading a country must have. It's not about money, it's about power. And uh, what uh, is easy to corrupt, mm. uh, the entities where they corrupt this, uh, this human beings, this flesh and blood containers, clones, whatever we want to call, with power, okay? Or programs that they already have implanted, but they still doing uh, they still doing the damage, okay? That yes. is the, this is their duty. And see how smart, so basically the reptilians behind the USA are smarter than the ones behind, uh, you know, uh, Russia, because either way, the USA w- would win. Because, I mean, they have looking glass technology, they can look ahead and multiple timelines close to the decision making here and there, like we always look on at least three timelines, right? And they figure that Ukraine will protest. I mean, first you take Crimea, we give it to you, fine. But, you know, because simply they didn't have weapons and it was all agreed upon and nobody really resisted. But now you're going to take the whole country and that's when they people are like, this is our land. We don't want to be all killed, you know, basically. Um, And so Biden offers uh, Zelensky to give him a right to the USA in the beginning of the war. But that's kind of strange, isn't it? I mean, it's it's like, you know, somebody attacks Great Britain and you're just telling to all the members of the government, whatever Great Britain, who actually make decisions about how to defend the country. Well, let's leave the country. I'll make you safe. Like, I'll take you to Bahamas. You'll have a like a <laughs> vacation time while your country and people are dying. It makes no sense. All yeah, the- if they attack uh, places like UK or any NATO, will be war straight away. Uh, exactly. And then this Polish, the, the Polish, the Polish people killed because of the rockets thing. But we like, Zelensky said, the guy in charge, Zeluzhny said, we know all our rockets. We have the database of the numbers. Each rocket has a number. We have to provide information for the investigation. Whose rocket was that? The kill to people on the Polish, uh, in, in Poland. It's a NATO country. But they wouldn't let Ukraine participate in an investigation. Well, that's very suspicious. We are part of it. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And that really made me think. And then I feel like my soul gave me this guy to watch. And I'm like, well, that's what I've always been accused. Oh, Zelensky sold the country. No, actually, not, not Zelensky sold the country. Uh, you know, it, it's always the fight. Like, remember the Cold War? Mm-hmm. Uh, USA, Russia, USA, always to major forces who fight in between in duality, who is higher on top of the pyramid, who owns the eye of the pyramid in control of everybody else. Exactly. And, you know, basically. But yeah, just it, it just was on my mind. Uh, I had to, to, to spill it out <laughs> for everybody. Yeah, um, that was good to make an update. And then uh, we can start another video. We can talk about, because uh, they have a very interesting uh, uh, connection today. It's all connected, the link with the war. Uh, I have a, that one. He was talking that a message arrives for me uh, from uh, the universe about uh, the, the World Cup in Qatar. That is a place where we know is with the, the hand uh, um, uh, dirty of blood. They use people. They have. Uh, they. I mean, they are against the LGBT community. They are. Um, they treat people like slaves. And, and they build the stadiums uh, with the pe- paying almost nothing. And imagine these people. They are so rich. So um, you know. The, I still in the first ta- at the first place that decided because everybody now is angry, but they they knew it four years ago that Qatar was the next host. So why they didn't do all this, uh, you know, fast, uh, all this, uh, this the disappointment why they don't started to do for the last five years to stop uh, 
and now they are doing this. There's nothing changed. Nothing is changing, you know. And they're trying to put a bit of sand or dust in the eyes, but people want to see the football. But I don't know. I feel something a bit sinister about this World Cup because it's not normal to go to the desert and play football, especially in a country which they... I mean, football is not the, the sport. They is not... And they know people... Let's say the, the British supporters, they like to drink, they like to celebrate it. Girls, if the women, they go there, they have to uh, put the... Um, let's say, what you call the veil in the face because uh, there is strict... How you can allow a sport of freedom and peace and uh, happiness in a country which is like to be in a prison, in, in a hot, hot, very hot prison in a desert, and especially in a country that is... Uh, they have even a reputation of terrorism, uh, you know, uh, cells there. So... Let's let's stay with us and then we come back in a second. <laughs> 